we shall rise up once again to sing together from gospel hymns and songs number 38. Gospel hymns and song number 38. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom come here with your robes, you are white, pure and white in the blood of the Lamb. Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bright and be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood? In the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb, are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb?
singing also gospel hymns and song number 37. Gospel hymns and song number 37. Christ our Redeemer died on the cross, died for the sinner, paid all his due. All who receive him need never fear. Yet, he will pass, will pass over you. Chiefest of sinners, Jesus can save. As he has promised, so will he do. Oh, sinner, hear him. Trust in his word. Then he will pass, will pass over you. Judgment is coming, all will be there. Who have rejected, who have refused. Oh, sinner, hasten, let Jesus in. Then God will pass, will pass over you. Oh, what compassion. Oh, boundless love. Jesus have power, Jesus is true. All who believe are saved from the storm. Oh, he will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you.
as he remains standing, we go to the Lord in prayers. Before we pray, in the year 2021, the first edition of the Global Crusade, right in this auditorium, with our Father in the Lord, I was privileged to be in the second day. And many miracles happened. There were people we brought here, lame on crutches. They got up and they started walking. And today, our Father in the Lord is here with us again. <laughs> on this word, connect to our great advocate. Great thing will happen here this morning. In Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Let's thank the Lord for the great thing the Lord has done. And here we are in the presence of the Lord today. We want to thank the Lord for the sacrifice of the cross. We want to thank the Lord for his blood he shed on the cross. And want to pray the benefit of the cross will not be in vain in our lives. We've come here this morning. There will be great blessing coming upon your life. The benefits of the cross, the sacrifice of the cross, the Lord will walk in a mighty way. Commit yourself into the hand of the Lord and pray that the sacrifice the Lord has made, the atonement the Lord has made, that that atonement will not be in vain in your life will not be in vain for your life. He has brought the atonement for redemption, for your salvation. Ask the Lord that today that redemption will not elude you. That salvation will not bypass you. He has done the atonement, the sacrifice to secure and procure blessings for the total man. That blessing from the cross for the total man the Lord will bring that blessing into our soul, into our spirit, into our body, into our life, in everything concerning us. The sacrifice of the cross will not be in vain. Pray, talk to the Lord. Today, as it happened then, in divine connection, and here we have connecting with our great advocate, the great things the Lord will do in our life, and in our midst today. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible tells us upon the first day of the week, let everyone lay in stock as the Lord has proffered him his time to give a tithe and offering. You put your hand in your pocket and your bag and your purse. And you bring out what you brought to offer to the Lord. Let's raise it all. Our Father, we thank you for this privilege to be together this morning. We raise our tithe and offering to you. And we're asking let it be acceptable to you in Jesus' name. And it will be used for the glory of your kingdom and for the propagation of the gospel in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for answer to our prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. The offering bag is passing near you. Please open your eye and drop the offering and remain in the mood of prayer. Commune with heaven. Talk to God. Bring your requests before the Lord. And pray that today it will be a special day in your life. Want to pray for the man of God, a pastor, a father in the Lord. Want to ask the Lord for greater strength, for greater anointing, for greater impartation of the Spirit of God upon thee, that the Lord will rain much of his anointing upon them and continually use him to be a blessing to the entire world. Let's open our mouth and pray for our father in the Lord. That as he's here this morning with us, the Lord will use him in a greater dimension and to be a blessing to us here and to all that are connecting with him globally. I want to pray for our nation, Nigeria, 
want to ask the law to help the security agencies as they are confronting criminality. God will grant them the wisdom how to get over all insecurity, and God will bring peace, cherish peace into this nation that the gospel will be preached in an atmosphere of peace. And here you are. I want you to pray that the Lord will work mightily in your life this morning. The presence of the Lord will be made manifest in your life this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this period. We are asking your glory. We fill this place and bring transformation into our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you for answer to our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We can be seated, please. It is our delight to know and welcome those who are worshiping for the first time with us in Deeper Life Bible Church. If today is your first time of being in our midst, in any of the hall, the ground floor, the first gallery, the second gallery, can you indicate by raising up your hand? You are in our midst for the very first time. Can we see your hand up? God bless you. God bless you. Can you please rise upon your feet, stand upon your feet? Stand upon your feet. God bless you. Oh, stand upon your feet. The people of God love you. Let's put our hands together for them. Our pastor is delighted that we are in our midst. Our ushers direct them that have been seat arranged in the front of each hall, the ground floor, the first gallery, the second gallery. Let's direct them. Take your bag, take your Bible and all you have come with, and move to the seat provided for you. Let's put our hands together as they are coming to the seat provided for them. First gallery, ushers that read them to the front seat. In the second gallery, the ground floor, let's be coming in. Let's continue to put our hands together until they are seated. And those that are outside, let's bring them in. Except those that are in the languages should remain in the language, and our language leaders we know how to take care of them. Let's continue to put our hands together. Put your hands together. You are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. We are delighted. Our pastor is happy. We all welcome you to this special service. Let's continue to put our hands together. More are coming. More are coming. More are coming. Coming in for the first time, don't just be seated. Join the people, all the people that are here for the first time. Second gallery, first gallery and the ground floor. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. A pastor is delighted that I know I miss this morning and his desire that you continue to come. Our church will give you a slip. Please supply all the necessary information there so that will be of great help to you. This is Deeper Life Bible Church. We are having a very special time with our Father and the Lord here. And some of us are here while some others are in their various region and group. For the sake of those who are coming here, to fellowship and worship with us three times in a week. 
we meet together for fellowship. On Sunday, we meet for a refreshing Sunday worship service, starting with a search the scripture. And the time is 8 a.m. every Sunday. And every Sunday evening, we meet in smaller units for the adult, the house caring fellowship by 4 p.m. For the youth, the student home success fellowship for by 3 p.m. For the children, we have the children house fellowship by 3 p.m. And for the DLCF, we have the colonial. They also meet in their various campuses and various halls in their campuses. And for the YPF and young adults, they have their meeting, they meet up. So all these meetings are available for us on Sunday. Then on Monday, we have a systematic and expository study of the Word of God with the man of God, our pastor. He teaches us every Monday globally. And this Monday, as we join up for the global Monday Bible study, your life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. The time is 5.50 p.m. On Thursday, we have the Thursday Revival and Evangelism Training Service where we are trained to evangelize and win so, and our faith is developed and equipped to receive more from the Lord. The time is 6 p.m. All this program takes place in all the Deeper Life Bible Church location nearest to you. And for this morning is a special time. Amen. Amen. For us in the FCT, this is the week of double portion. Let's put our hands together. This is the week of double portion. This morning, we are here to connect with our great advocate. Our Father in the Lord will be leading us in that connection. Amen. And on Thursday, on the global scale, the GCK, great possibilities through the power of Christ is taking place. That's why I say this is double portion for FCT. From the 27th of this month, that is this week, Thursday, all through to 1st of August, the man of God will be ministering to the whole globe, including FCT. And we are going to be people that will receive of that global anointing and that global touch in Jesus' name. We must reach out, invite others, bring others to our various locations and make sure we connect and stay all true. And as the Lord has been doing great wonders, this time you will be the next to testify in Jesus' name. The youth choir.
For a long time I traveled Down a long, lonely road My heart was so heavy In sin I sank low Then I heard about Jesus What a wonderful hour I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out through his saving power Thank God I am free, free, free From this world of sin Washed in the blood of Jesus Been born again Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved By his wonderful I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way Like a bird out of prison That's taken his flight Like a blind man that died back his side like a poor wretched beggar that's found fortune and fame I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out through his holy name thank God I am free 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 from this world of sin the blood of Jesus been born again. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. Thank God I am free. That was the choir of the dead. Now we have the camp for it.
atoning day, a shepherd cries, I know the spot, less lamb must die, oh how could just one sacrifice, oh God Jehovah is satisfied. Year after year, the blood would flow, but none could wash me white as snow. Salvation's day fulfill the plan the promise came one holy land one holy land my sins away one sacrifice in a price I could not pay one holy The Father cries, the spotless Son of God must die. One final death for every man, one blood, one life, one hope.
This is 26 years, almost 26 years of marriage. Waiting, believing God, trusting God for the fruit of home. My name is Frank Kaudo. I got married 1997, August 9. Then my expectation was that the conception will soon take place. But along the lines, it fell another way. But I kept on believing God and trusting the Lord. All this why I've been so sorrowful. It has been a pains, agony, worry, thinking, rejected. In fact, I don't know how to express it. We pray, we go here and there for treatment, no improvement. Five years, 10 years, 15 years waiting in 2022, precisely that God that can never fail. Message, GCK, I hold on to God. This is the GCK that I've just started. Before the GCK, they will end it. God remember me. Along the lines, she fell sick. I, I took her to the hospital. The doctor had to run a test, and also it was confirmed. I smiled. Since that day, the great joy everywhere I go to, a great joy in my heart till today. To appreciate Pastor Dr. Doyef Kumuji for GCK visions, and I am believing God that the Lord will strengthen him and uh, really empower him to continue with this wonderful program to touch the life of the people across the globe. I say, God, who has done this for my family? Who has added joy? Who has taken away sorrow in my family life? May his name forever be praised. Will we ever be grateful to God for keeping these children for us in Jesus' mighty name? Even before the Jericho walls fall, we're shouting, we're praising the Lord. He will fulfill our expectation in Jesus' name. Look ahead, a new quarter beckons. The seventh month opens the dawn of possibilities. GCK is your conveyance unto Christ as this July offers you great moments of possibilities. And everybody will know and you will say I know because I feel it in my body. I sense it in my soul. I see it in what he has done. The July edition of the Global Crusade with Kumuyi GCK. Old July 27th to August 1st 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily. Live at Ogbomosho Grammar School, Okeowode, Ogbomosho. Or your state, Southwestern Nigeria. GCK. Seventh month special Sunday worship on Sunday, July 30, 2023. 0700 hours GMT. A special time for ministers, church workers, and professionals to be purged for more fruitfulness. A clear path will be set for youth, campus students, and young adults to go beyond limitations. The rejuvenated global choir will take you to the presence of Jesus in grand style. As we also bring you special guest music ministration by Jeff Deal from the USA. God's servant, our international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi will be mightily used by God to reveal great possibilities through the power of Jesus Christ. Don't worry about anything, anything in your life, anything in the past, anything in the present. The touch of the Lord is coming upon everyone here in Jesus' name. GCK. Live from Obobosho. Streams to the world via satellite and all our social media platforms. And will also be broadcast on radio and television all over the world. Coming from the Christ on the cross. Coming from the Christ who rose up for your salvation and for your healing. Coming from the Christ that sits at the right hand 
of majesty on high. He will set everyone free. Christ has assured us of great possibilities ahead. So join us. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Period of scripture reading. The second epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. The second epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Second Corinthians 8. Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. How that in a great trial of affliction the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord, and unto us by the will of God. Insomuch that we desired Titus, that as he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith and utterance and knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. And herein I give my advice, for this is expedient for you, who have begun before, not only to do, but also to be forward a year ago. Now therefore perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath, and not according to that he hath not. For I mean not that other men be eased and ye burdened, but by an equality that now at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want that their abundance also may be a supply for your want, that there may be equality. As it is written, he that had gathered much had nothing over, and he that had gathered little had no lack. But thanks be to God which put the same earnest care into the heart of Titus for you. For indeed he accepted the exhortation, but being more forward of his own accord, he went unto you. And we have sent with him the brother, whose praise is in the gospel throughout all the churches. And not that only, but who was also chosen of the churches to travel with us with this grace, which is administered by us to the glory of the same Lord and declaration of your ready mind. Avoiding this, that no man should blame us in this abundance which is administered by us providing for honest things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. And we have sent with them our brother, whom we have oftentimes proved diligent in many things, but now much more diligent upon the great confidence which I have in you. Whether any do inquire of Titus, he is my partner and fellow helper concerning you. Or our brethren be inquired of, they are the messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. Wherefore show ye to them, and before the churches, the proof of your love, and of our boasting on your behalf. 2 Corinthians 9 For as touching the ministering to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you. For I know the forwardness of your mind, for which I boast of you to them of Macedonia, that Achaia was ready a year ago, and your zeal hath provoked very many. Yet have I sent the brethren, lest our boasting of you should be in vain in this behalf, that, as I said, ye may be ready. Lest haply if they of Macedonia come with me and find you unprepared, we, that we say not ye, should be ashamed in this same confident boasting. 
Therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they would go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty, whereof ye had noticed before that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty and not as of covetousness. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. As it is written, He hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God. For the administration of this service not only supplieth the want of the saints, but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto God. Whilst by the experiment of this ministration they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ, and for your liberal distribution unto them, and unto all men, and by their prayer for you, which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. May God help us to be doers of the word. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. If you're happy, I praise the name of the Lord. Wonderful day. Happy day. Blessed day. For who? For me. For all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Like we've heard from our moderator earlier, this week is a week of double blessing for all of us. Double blessing for us. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Double blessing today. We have our father, we have our mother. Double blessing for us today. Double blessing for us all through the week. Amen. We are very highly privileged to have in the house our mother in the Lord, Mama Esther Kumuye. You are welcome, Ma. Very much welcome, Ma. Put your hands together. Stand up and put your hands together for Mama. Our loving Mama, darling Mama, you are welcome, Ma. Welcome, Ma. We appreciate your coming and all the Lord is using you to do alongside with our Father in the Lord. God continue to bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Ma. Let's be seated as we have the choir, adult choir coming in. And thereafter, what do you expect? What do you expect? Get ready, get ready. You get your full blessing in Jesus' name. The adult choir. All who packed at the school, the high school after the high school, the school after the high school should please get the bag because the school has a duty to do that work and to make sure that the bag has been packed by the school and the school has been carried out in the correct manner.
There is a truth, a blessed news. It is the power of God to save. For oh, every mind, from every sea, he conquers hell and defeats the grave. And out the shame we would proclaim, all that is written within your word. For you have said that you will bless. comes when the enemy attacks when the accusation gathers like a storm I remember what you've done you remind me who I am and I claim the victory of Lord has won oh there is
Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Amen. The Lamb that was slain has brought us redemption, atonement, salvation, and we're having the fullness of the blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. We're always blessed in the FCT Deep Alive Bible Church. And uh, we will continue to get more and more and more and more in Jesus' name. A louder amen. amen. Our Father and the Lord arrived on Friday and straight we went to our campground in Gawabe. And put your hands together for Jesus. And I'm glad to announce that Gawabe has become a miracle center. This FCT will witness great, mighty miracles rise from Gawabe as our Father will be ministering from there very, very soon. The whole world will receive the blessing of God very soon from the city of Abuja, Gawabe, Deeper Life Campground. Put your hands together for Jesus. The status of our campground has changed because our Father with the anointing and power stepped in there. And not just there, he prayed for us. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Yesterday we were with the youth, youth, dear, 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 dear soul, YPF, Yowikan, and other youth all over FCT. It was a wonderful time at the National Christian Center. All our youth have received empowerment, anointing, and great, great miracles. Amen. And right here now, today, who's turn? Who's turn? Our Father in the Lord is here with the anointing and power. And get ready, get ready, receive your blessings. You are welcome, sir. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, is here to minister to us with the anointing and power. Welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this hour, the hour for your word to penetrate every heart. We're asking, Lord, that the word will do good in every life in Jesus' name. Amen. That our spirit, our soul, our body, our life, our destiny will receive by turning around by your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn our eyes towards heaven, Amen. towards Jesus, Amen. and towards the destiny you are preparing for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Lord, that you take away our limitation, limitation to this angle, to this angle, to that one, and to that one, and give us a broad view of who Christ is, of what Christ has come to do and what Christ will effect in every life and confirm your word in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. We're coming to Romans chapter 5 and I'm reading from verse 8. Romans chapter 5, we're looking at it from verse 8. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In verse 9, it says, Much more than being justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Then in verse 10, it tells us, It says, For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. In verse 11, it now brings up everything in summary. And it says, and not only so, but we also joy. We rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have received the atonement. We're talking about the atonement today, the atonement of Christ, 
that he made on the cross at Calvary. And he made that for everyone, for you, for me, for everyone on earth. But it says we have to receive, we have to receive. We receive the atonement. And when it says we, what is he talking about? He's talking about those who understand the importance of his sacrifice, the importance of his substitution, and the importance of the salvation he brought to the rest, to the whole world. The salvation is for everyone. The atonement is for everyone. The redemption, the reconciliation is for everyone. But there are people that will have to receive. You receive and then the effect of the atonement becomes yours. It tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 2, reading from verse 3, it says, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Verse 4 tells us, who will have all men to be saved. He wants all men to get saved. He wants all men to benefit from the atonement that Christ made on the cross of Calvary. Atonement, already I read Romans to you. And you'll see that Romans chapter 5, it talks mainly about our soul, our spirit, our salvation and the cleansing that he does and the conversion that he does. We were enemies against God, but now he reconciles us to God and that reconciliation is the center of the effect of the atonement and he wants all men to be saved and all men to come to the knowledge of the truth in second peter chapter 3 verse 9 second peter chapter 3 verse 9 the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering towards words not willing that any should perish but that all shall come to repentance that all shall come to repentance because in coming to redeem in coming to repentance you come to redemption in coming to repentance you come to reconciliation with god in coming to repentance by faith you come to the righteousness of the lord that he purchased for us on the cross of calvary and he wants the eyes of your mind to focus on that repentance that righteousness that redemption, that reconciliation. There are people that only think of Christ when they are sick. There are people that only think of Christ when they have infirmity. They, they don't feel the leprosy of their sin. You understand? People who have leprosy, they don't generally have the feeling until the leprosy spreads in the whole body and then they have to be cast out of the midst of the people of God. And many people are not conscious of their sin, the presence of sin, the power of sin in their lives, the pollution of sin in their lives. They are not uh, conscious of the punishment, eternal punishment of sin in their lives. When they think about Christ, they think about their body. Healing for the body, that's good. Uh, that's the little minute part of the atonement that Jesus made the center of that atonement the effect of that atonement is that you're conscious that sin will plague your life destroy your life and get you to hell eternal punishment and that first of all in your heart you look at jesus and you know he made a complete atonement for your sin and you want to turn turn away from sin and turn away from darkness and turn to the lord for the salvation of your soul healing is good healing gives us some ease over here on earth but sin will damage our lives and send us to hell 